There's something at the ranch I just can't live without. You know, it's not Mama's biscuits and gravy I'm talking about. I first learned about it from a friend named Shorty. It's my good old American-made WD-40. Now you can use it to kill a spider or bug. There ain't nothing better for loosening up the rusted lug. For starting fluid, it'll make any old cold dually crank. You can shine up your spurs from row to shank. And when I get out there underneath the truck and get the grunting and all bound up, I just run for the can of WD-40. Gives me such relief I want to yell, oh, Lordy. Now, if it'll make a gate freely swing, I figured my old dog's stiff hind legs the nozzle I'd bring. For him to go on a tire used to be a big deal. Now that dog can hit the windshield. <laughs> that is McDowell, everybody. Cowboy poet Lex McDowell. Welcome to Studio 10. Nice to see you. Cowboy so, Lariat. So uh, according to this, uh, WD-40 is the equivalent of Windex in the Greek culture. You, Pretty you put much. it on everything, right? Pretty much. You know, it's like it's like bailing wire, and then we all went, those cowboys went to, uh, from bailing wire, I think we went to duct tape. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Can, can we step back just a little bit, Maurice? Maurice saying, to, you are not standing in the light. Oh. We need to move over. Stand in the lights. <laughs> bask in the light. Well, it's not my fault. I mean, you guys have gotten really fancy. I've noticed you've got robotic cameras and everything. And right. I, didn't, I didn't know there's robotic, and I've been sitting over there talking to this guy for, <laughs> for like 30 Number, number two is usually pretty agreeable. Yeah. It's three over there you got to watch out. Yeah, for. We'll, we'll call him tripod. When they get bored, they go shovel snow up north. Uh, anyway, okay, so you have had a very uh, varied past, I guess we could say. You've done radio, you've done mm -hmm. comedy, right. um, and you recorded your cowboy poetry with the help of somebody from the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. Is that right? Yeah, John McEwen. Uh, Beecher Martin, a good friend of mine, produced it, and, and, and John McEwen from the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band uh, did the music on the three CDs. It was all for charity, uh, and and uh, I decided, or Skip Mahaffey, uh, a good buddy of mine that I've worked in radio with a number of years, decided that it was time to put it in a book. So how do you write? I remember my grandma used to write poetry, and she'd wake up sometimes in the middle of the night and, and just start writing. Do you yeah. have a process, or how do you, and how long did it take you to write all these poems? Well, first off, I probably about a 12-pack. And, and, and <laughs> of WD-40. Of right. WD-40. Right. No, seriously, uh, it's, it's <laughs> things uh, that happen in my life and, and uh, things just like WD-40. 40 is kind yeah. of true in a way, and, and, and different things. Uh, a little bit later, I'll be doing a poem, poem called uh, Giving My Little Girl Away, and it was a poem that I wrote when Holly, my daughter, uh, got married, and, and it, it was nothing written for guys, you know? Yeah. Uh, the women all do everything, but the guys, we just pay, and that's it, you know? That's, yeah. So it's uh, real life things. So it's throughout the course of your life you've written these? Yeah. Now, I think a lot of people assume that these are going to be cowboy themes uh, pretty much throughout, but we read one yesterday in the office that was basically like, I like my favorite products. I like my hair products. That doesn't make me not a cowboy. <laughs> you know, that, that's true. And, and uh, I, I want to, I, I am not a cowboy cowboy. I'm from Illinois, like you. Sure. And uh, so I wasn't, but I was raised out west. And uh, I, I don't work for, for ten, 10 bucks a day, you know, and, and, and that type of thing. Uh, so I'm not a cowboy. I'm more Americana because I've got my, uh, I, I've got my Midwest background, you know. Do you still, uh, obviously, I mean, you've you been in country radio for a long time. Right. You did radio out in California, so there has to be something with that that you identify with, because to do something well like that, I mean, you really have to have a passion for it. Well, you know, it started like at, at uh, WQYK that they let me, uh, Mike Collada and, and those guys let me start doing it on the air, and I always hid being uh, a poet because I'm a, I'm a guy, and I figured that poetry was a bad thing, you know. Uh, then I found out the girls like it. They dig it. <laughs> but the problem is, then you get too old, you know, and they, they look right through you anyway. Is this you on the cover of the book, and we get yeah. another shot of this. This is you. Yeah. But this is boy. You look a lot different with the big old mustache. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do, don't I? He's all cowboyed up here. Yeah, you are. Who took yeah. the picture? That's a fantastic picture. You know, I don't know who took that. I think I got that at the mall. One of those little things you stepped in. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> the so magic where, cowboy picture machine. <laughs> where can people find the book, Les? Well, well, first off, here in Tampa, you can go to the History Center downtown near the Forum. Oh, right? wow. Okay. So it's down there. Uh, also, uh, well, there's, there's several places around town. You can get it, but the main main place you can go is uh, you can go to Barnes and Noble mm -hmm. or Amazon.com and, and put it, get it there. Well, we're going to have another performance from Les in just a couple minutes, but first we want to let you know that Cowboy is our Studio 10 Win Stuff Word of the Day. It's your chance to win fabulous prizes just by watching this show, and it's very easy to play. Do Cowboys have computers? You bet we do. We got the floppy disks too, and all that. You know? <laughs> get to that.
that computer right now, partner, and dial us up. Studio10.tv, click on the Win Stuff link, type in today's Win Stuff word. It's cowboy, and you'll earn points you can use to win some big prizes. And everybody, become a fan of Studio 10 on Facebook. Everybody's doing it. So be sure to log on to Studio10.tv for your chance to win stuff. Hey, everybody, if you want to check out Les McDowell's book signing, here it is. It's Saturday, January 9th at Gateway Books in St. Pete from 1 to 3 p.m. And uh, there's the address for you. We're going to have all this information for you as well at Studio10.tv. But as we mentioned once again, here is cowboy poet Les McDowell. She glides over the dance floor in her white Battenberg lace. I'm a little uneasy in this winter tuxedo, but I sure am proud. You can see it written all over my face. Today is a big day. I give away my little girl. She up and turned into a woman. Just watch her twirl. She reminds me of her mom not too many years ago. Her new husband is sure enough a nice fellow. After all, he's just a regular Joe. I can still see her now hobbling around in her mom's old high heels when she had tripped and fallen her dragon purse. We'd try not to make it a big deal. Let dad show you a fancy step. If you ever need me, I'll be right there, you can bet. These are tears of joy. I'm not sad. It's just not every day that a dad gives away his little girl. <laughs>